Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Workshop Studios. This is our project for the day. We have a, uh, a nice door, front door here, but um, it is almost fully south facing and it gets lots and lots of sun on it. You can see how much sun is there already. And it just really gets beat up. We've had this door replaced with a fiberglass door, uh, and I'll put a link down below for that. Um, and it, it's done all right, but it still gets pretty weather beaten here. So now we're at a point where I've got to do something. And you can see all the, the finish has come off of it here and here. And you can see what looks like bubbles all over it. So we're going to try something today to see if we can't fix that. Now, I've already tried spraying this with um, urethane, basically. It's an outdoor uh, urethane and I'll show you that in a minute but it doesn't it doesn't look good it doesn't actually match up with the rest of the wood so we're gonna have to take the old finish off just to see how it does and what we're gonna do is we're going to just do the bottom of this door here down here first just to make sure we know what we're doing so we'll we'll spray this bottom part with our stripper and then we'll try and take that off of there all right let's get started all right so we'll review our our tools and uh, supplies for the day. This right here is the stripper. And I've read uh, quite a bit to try and figure out what is safe to use on this fiberglass surface. So this is not real wood, it might look like it, but that's a, a wood, sort of faux wood if you might, that's um, got a resiny fiberglass base to it. So the question is what's safe to use on that and this material, or this particular stripper came up. So we're going to use some of that, and then once we get it all done, we're going to use this uh, spar urethane, the indoor-outdoor stuff, um, and to try and replace it. So let's get started, and we'll spray it on there. Now this stuff works, this stripper works reasonably slow, so it says you can leave it on for up to 24 hours. But we're going to try some and see how it does, and then we'll go from there. All right, let's try it out. That was an interesting reaction. I don't know if you can see it still, but there's a bunch of steam coming off the door. I guess the door is hot enough in the sun. Here it is. You can still see some steam coming off there, maybe. So, I guess the door is hot enough to kind of evaporate whatever the solvent is on this. But so far, that was pretty easy. We'll see how that does. All right, so here's the finish after 20 minutes. You can see that it's actually lifting right off the surface. So it seems to be doing a good job. It didn't hurt the, didn't hurt the, uh, spin or the, uh, the faux wood, if you might, look. So, so far so good. I'm gonna leave it there for a while longer and uh, we'll see how that turns out. All right, so this is about an hour and a half on this finish. <laughs> it looks pretty bad. It looks like it's got leprosy or some sort of skin disease. Um, I'm a little nervous that I won't be able to restore the wood just for a couple of reasons, but we're going to keep going. We'll see if we can't um, bring it back to life. It's only been an hour and a half, and it does say you can go longer. So, Anyhow, let's keep uh, waiting on it. I'll do a little scraping and a little waiting. Well, here's the next morning. <laughs> yeah. Looking pretty bad here. <laughs> well, we may try a little something here. I was kind of hoping it would all, all the color would even out. You can see here, it's still got these differences where it looks darker here, lighter. Same thing here. So, I got, I've got an idea I may try out today. See how that works after we get this all cleared off. Well, here's probably an unconventional way to do paint stripping. Watch this. 
Got my little leaf blower here. Yeah, that's a different way to do <laughs> paint stripping. All right, we'll continue to get this off of here. And uh, we'll see if we can't turn this back into a beautiful door. Because right now it looks pretty <laughs> like it's got a serious skin disease. Yeah. Well, since this door is proving to be unconventional, I'm going to go unconventional. Um, now I'm going to try to rinse the rest of it off, if you might, or even slightly power wash it off. So let's try that out. All right, well, <laughs> that was an interesting experience. It certainly took a lot more material off. There's still patches of things so I may use a little Scotch-Brite on it to see if I can't knock some of those down. Well, I pressure washed some more and got some more to finish off, but they're still kind of look scabby. So um, I went ahead and sprayed some more of the stripper on there. And it's certainly lighter, but I'm, I'm very pleased that it hasn't lost all of its color. I was afraid that it was just going to go bare white, but it uh, seems to be all right. So we'll let this one set for an hour or so and then probably just hose it off because that seems to work pretty well and then we'll try out our secret weapon all right so we're almost there got a few little spots left and then we'll try out the uh the secret weapon which i'll show you right now well you can't see the label but this is the uh stain i used on our deck and i'm hoping because of the color that it will restore some of the color to the door. You can see that nice rich color. This is called Midnight Mahogany. It's a Cabot stain, wood stain. Um, so I'm hoping that that will help to bring some of that evenness back to it. But we'll try that out once it dries off and we get that last coat of stripper off of there. Well, here we are. This is three days later, I think. And uh, I've gone over the door a bunch of times with the uh, with that citrus stuff and decided it's time to give it a try and here's the stain and I think we might have a winner so um, this is the kind of stain you put on with a brush can't put it on with a roller it leaves weird marks on it um, and it's <clears throat> usually a two coat deal with this this particular stain so the first coat looks close to the color and the second coat will darken it right up so very excited about this Hopefully this will be the, uh, what we need for this door. All right, so this is the next day, a little light sanding and a second coat. And I even did the, the side light things here, you might be able to tell. So it's coming along. Certainly not perfect, but it's certainly better than what was there before. And this product seems to be working out just fine for it. So I'm hoping that it'll uh, be a good addition uh, in terms of being able to manage this front door and, and uh, treat the weathered parts. All right, so I went ahead and took the handles off and uh, finished up that area. I ended up putting one more coat on. I kind of like that. I like it a little darker like that. <clears throat> so I think we're done. Let it dry and I'll put the handles back on and hopefully that takes care of the, uh, 
the finish for a, a year. Um, we'll see how these other bits where I didn't get all of the finish scraped off of there. We'll see how they fare during this next year, but it looks pretty good. Get closer and it doesn't look as good, but still it's good enough for uh, what I was looking to do. I also cleaned the window off it. It looked pretty bad. All right, so I'll show you the, the final product when the handles are back on. Alrighty, I think we're going to call that D for done. And uh, at least we have a plan for going forward. It turned out pretty good. I have a little more work to do. I want to put some caulking around the around the glass. I've got some dark colored caulking to do that, but it shouldn't change the look very much. So uh, good luck with your fiberglass doors. And uh, I'm going to put a whole bunch of links down below. Uh, <laughs> most of them are talking about how fiberglass doors don't uh, stand up to the warranty that they at least imply, which is a lifetime warranty, and clearly they don't, not the surface or the finish at least. So, um, again, good luck with your doors, and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Catch you on the next video. Bye!